Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Mimi, aka the Pisces and Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages. Like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so, so very much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always and forever going to be loved and appreciated. God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, Cosmic Guides, all things of the highest and purest white light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please give my wonderful, fabulous, and amazing Pisces your family the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Hello, my beautiful star seers. I was just thinking it haven't it been a while since I called y'all that. So as you can see, I'm not on camera. Spirit wants me to take a little break from y'all looking at me. So this is the angle that I was able to come up with. Okay. <laughs> so I hope it's good enough because this is what it is. So um, you're just beautiful and magnificent and abundant at this time. Okay. This is a Nike reading. Um, Nike is the Greek goddess of victory. Okay. So beautiful that she wants to talk to you. Okay. You are in this place where you're getting the victory. You've been taking these very effortless leaps of faith. And when it comes to these people that have been stabbing you in the back, okay, they're in a terrible energy of anxiety, okay, conflicted within themselves, okay. I heard conflicted in this um, free base world of give and take because I always be, because I'd rather be the one saying, giving something than saying thanks i think is what he says okay but you're upholding your potential you know i think you're a real giver a lover okay you're looking like the star at this time and these people who tried to stab you in the back for no reason are in a place of conflict in a place of confusion they don't understand why you're able to get the victory and the stability and they're not okay like i said you're abundant you're magnificent and you're just looking great okay we got the Blessed Isles of the West. The West could be significant. You could be a life path number one um, or a life path number six or four or five, okay? You could be attracting your divine counterpart at this time, okay? You're coming into union or you're just coming into a deeper state of union with the divine through these beautiful creative energies. Your sacral chakra could be in a very strong and powerful place. I think you're in this place where it's like now you're making the right relations. Now you're making the right moves for you. You know what I mean? When it comes to what you put your emotions into and what it is that you're truly focused on and your ancestors are always, always, always around you, my love. Comforting you, taking care of you, making sure that you have everything that you need at this time. So please don't worry, okay? The divine is giving you everything that you need, okay? You could be in hermit mode right now or you could be a Virgo or have Virgo highly aspected in your chart. But what's going on with them? Also, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Cups, okay? We got the Emperor, okay? <laughs> so this is how you looking, okay? But, I mean, you could be attracting this Emperor type of energy, even if you're a masculine, okay? You could be the one who upholds all of, like, the feminine energy, and you could be attracting this Emperor type of energy into your life, okay? But let's talk about it like it's you, okay? This emperor has this golden ball of yarn, okay? So giving me this energy that everything that you create is golden often. I said often, okay? So I didn't mean to say that. I was I was going to say also. <laughs> but I think you could be someone who creates often. And I think there are a lot of people outside of you always trying to create some sort of illusion or something that you need to use your energy to see through, you know? But I think you're doing a great job of standing your ground. And no matter how much they try to, like, distract you or whatever, they can't take this. They can't knock this crown off of your head, baby. But this could definitely totally be directed toward a divine masculine, okay, that's meant to be this beautiful leader, but you don't have to be. You could just hold those beautiful leading qualities of a divine masculine. Like I said, you know, this thing has no sex. So this is where your energy is at. You know, you could be showing up as the emperor because, you know, you're just sitting in your strength and you're making this beautiful forward movement and doing what it is that you need to do to get these victories, to get these new intellectual ideas. You know what I mean? You're really mirroring the divine in a beautiful way okay we got the hierophant it's giving me this energy that god is proud of you okay you're looking real good with this queen of wands energy and it's causing towers okay 
and it's causing judgment for people outside of you. These people that have been trying to hide and do all of these different things in the dark, okay? You just sitting right here collecting this divine wealth, okay? <laughs> You're just collecting all of this divine wealth. But there could definitely be a queen of pentacles, a queen of wands, and a king of wands that's hating on you or trying to cause issues for you in some sort of way. Some Aries Leo Sagittarius, okay? Masculine and feminine Aries Leo Sagittarius could even be a couple, okay? And um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, feminine who just really don't like you and your progress and been trying to do everything they could do in the back to mess up this beautiful peace of mind that you have going on and this, um, you know, divine wealth that you were always meant to attract. You know, they don't want you to have the home, the picket fence and the and all of the pinnacles. How dare you? You know what I mean? We got to stop everything that's coming in for them, you know, so they've been doing a lot of passionate movement towards the towards your success you know just because they can't let it go just because they feel like oh it's no fair you know I, i'm i should be the one that's receiving these blessings i'm the one that's magical how dare they come in from the cold where i put them you know what i'm saying let me get these burdens together so i can go on and <laughs> They like, let me get these burdens together so I can go on and throw them back on this person's back. But I feel like no matter how many burdens or how many situations or how many things that they do to try to like clog up or stop your flow, you know, they just really can't. You know exactly when to go into hermit mode and get like this refreshed energy, you know, like you really know your worth and your value. And not only that, you, you figured out how to call on your worth and your value and allow it to shine outside of you, you know. I feel like um, you, you know exactly what people you want to release at, these at this time. And like I said, these very immature fire signs, okay, they're trying to distract you, okay, trying to like dangle something in your face, you know, I heard the truth, they could be, you know, dangling certain parts of the truth, being honest only about certain things, you know, so you'll be distracted or you'll feel sorry for them in some sort of way, but I just don't feel like you have you have the, that kind of problem. I feel like, you know, the will is turned in your favor. It's upright for you, baby. And you're getting this victory. You will be successful and you will always close out cycles that aren't for you because you literally physically cannot stand to stay in a place of stagnancy or to stay in a place of turmoil or to stay in a place where you're constantly surrounded by negative energy and hate. Okay. You just can't do it. <laughs> you just don't want to, okay? This says courage is knowing it might hurt and doing it anyway. Stupidity is the same. That's why life is hard, okay? It says love like people aren't total assholes. And this is what I was getting at, you know? This is what you do, you know? I feel like people think they're being courageous in the same way that you are being courageous, but really they're just doing something stupid over and over and over again. You know, it's like you're getting more and more courageous and they're stepping more and more into an energy of insane where you're doing the right things in order to get to somewhere very positive, somewhere very constructive. They're doing the same stupid things and just, you know, bumping their head over and over and over again on this brick wall and not really recognizing that there is not much change happening when it comes to your energy what's going on outside of them well what else it says you are a product of what you believe okay that's what's going on outside of you so the people that are haters the people that are having issues the people that are trying to come up against you you know the, the people that are gossiping about you and all of these different things they are becoming the product of what they believe if they believe that to be true about you even though you're amazing and you're loving no matter what <laughs> then um, they become a turd, okay? Look, it says if, you're think, if you think like a turd, you probably, wait, if you think like a turd, you're probably going to act like a turd. Treat yourself like a turd and accept turd treatment for, from others. Why the fuck would you do that? First off, you're not a turd. It's just physically impossible to be a turd and a sentient being at the same time. But even... If you have been kind of turdy, you believe in your golden will bring all that golden behavior and that golden treatment. Today, just believe you're golden. If you liked it better there, go back to turd town tomorrow, you know. And it's almost like this energy she's giving me of them not being able to handle stepping out of turd town, you know. 
like this energy of you being surrounded by a bunch of people who are addicted to their shitty behavior and their their outlook on life you know they're not loving themselves right they're not giving themselves enough attention they're giving you all the attention and it's just making them spiral down into a place of more like fucked up energy okay it says, it's okay, guacamole. I'm extra as fuck too, okay? People might think that you're so extra or whatever, but I think you just really truly are yourself and they're just jealous that they can't be themselves, you know, out and loud and proud about it. You know, you could be a part of the LGBTQ community, okay? It says, you can learn a lot of good lessons from a few fucked up people, okay? So I feel like these people that um, Nike is referring to have really helped you to get this victory that you're in line for, you know? But I mean, like, the victory was always going to be yours. But they could have been victorious, too, if they would have passed their test, but they didn't. I think you're a huge test for a lot of people. And these people are starting to become the product of what they believe to be true. You know, these could be people that, you know, believe the world is so terrible and it's shitty and they just don't want to be here and they want to hurry up and get it over with type stuff, okay? You're a champion, a warrior for the divine, it says spirit of the mountains with the breast, the breast of the goddess. Okay. And this says chambers in the earth, rhythms of the other world. Okay. So you're like really getting into the rhythm of the divine realm. And I think that these people have gotten into the rhythm of operating the way that like lower vibrationals or like underworld type of energies, you know. They don't really understand what it means to be abundant or what it means to just like create something out of nothing, you know? Yeesh. Okay, so it says, you are invited to let go of harshly judging yourself or others. While corrective actions are essential in the course of human life, blaming self or others is neither practical nor life-sustaining. And I think that this is something that you really get or something that you're coming into. And that's why you're showing up as the emperor. Because it's like, once you stop blaming yourself and really recognize the hurt patterns that people are, you know, these people are just walking around showing off their symptoms, okay? So if you pay attention, then you know what really truly is wrong with them or why they think the way that they think or act the way that they act, you know? And I think that you're in this place where you're more reading symptoms than you are judging people for who they are and where they're meant to, you know, where they are at in their life at that time. You're just more focused on where you're meant to go. It says, however awkward or difficult, seeking and is extending forgiveness frees life to be lived more fully in the present. It says the image of the breast of the goddess Anu signify the nourishment of a mother's milk and boundless self-giving. As though untouched by human logic, she gives impartially and boundlessly to the just and unjust alike. Therefore, you are encouraged to partake in her wisdom in some aspects of your life. Rather than judging or holding court on the actions of others or yourself, you may wish to reevaluate and amend those aspects of your life in which a gentler, more forgiving approach would be freeing and more deeply gratifying, you know. And I think that this is just the place where you are in this place where you want to be very forgiving, where you're really catching yourself if you do slip into that judgy way of thinking and really trying to partake in more of this wisdom. Like I said, you're really getting into the rhythm of operating the way that the divine operates when it comes to dealing with people. And I think that you're starting to feel a lot more free, you know, because we're free a lot longer than we feel free. You know what I mean? So I think you're just now really starting to enjoy the freedom while people are starting to feel that energy of trapped, you know. And also people are very like judgy of you at this time, you know, they're judging you and they're judging themselves and they're refusing to let go of the harsh judgments that they placed on you, you know, almost this energy of like they place so many judgments on you that they don't know who they are anymore. Okay. Or like they place so many judgments on you that they never even got the chance to know you, you know, this is big. I was going to say this is big bigot energy, okay? That's what it is. Somebody's a bigot, okay? 
We got visionary sequence with potent projections. Come on. So somebody's trying to project this energy at you while you're just trying to project the most positive energy that you can project out into the world. You have a very strong third eye, a beautiful way that you imagine things. You could be a life path number 22, okay? We got this. What does it say? The sacred serpent spirit okay which is talking about dna activations okay that's why you out here looking like the emperor because you're being activated to operate on this whole different type of level you know it's like you've been believing and holding this faith and working on building up your light and working on expressing the best version of yourself and you are starting to be a product of that what you're you know, your reality is mirroring what it is that you're giving and it's getting harder and harder for people to doubt you, harder and harder for people to harshly judge you because you keep showing and proving, okay? Well, look, the priestess of, of transition, okay? So you're looking like a beautiful high priest or a high priestess and your individuality is being honored not only by yourself but by others. The way you honor yourself and your individuality and your beliefs and the way that you hold your faith, this is why you're look you're in such a beautiful place, okay? And this is why it's so hard to like touch you or stop you, okay? Yeah, we got the sea goddess of transition. No, my bad. The sea goddess of transmutation, okay? But Transition works there too, I think. All of your ability to transmute all of this negative energy that people are projecting at you and turn those projections into very positive things, into visions that you have for the future improving is gorgeous, okay? And is the reason why you're celebrating such big changes in your life or why you're, why you're about to celebrate such big change. Because you're taking all the negative energy and turning it into something that works for you. And nobody can fight that, okay? We got the sea spirit queen. I think when it comes to the element of water, you are truly a master, okay? Very emotionally intelligent. Also, I think you could be a lover of animals, okay? You could really honor animal souls or you could be, um, you could have that shaman energy all over you, baby. Your etheric chakras are popping as well. You're truly in alignment and you deserve these victories that are coming into your life because you kept up this purity the entire time, okay? You hear that confirmation? Um, you're like the dolphin spirit, you know? I think you're really learning how to have a lot of fun with this thing and, you know, the divine is granting you peaceful passage because of the way, because of the mentality that you have, okay? So just keep it up, baby. Don't worry about the haters, okay? They really cannot affect you in any way. Unless you allow them to do so, you know. And it's like, even I, because I still, you know, be around some people that I know hate me for a fact. But they just, they still putting on, they still got masks on and things like that, you know. And they like copy me right in my face and do all kinds of weird stuff. And it, it sometimes, it really does bother me. It really irritates me. And it just makes me really wonder, like, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, who are you deep down? I don't necessarily like judge them, but if anything, like I really check in with spirit. I'd be like, spirit, am I seeing what I'm seeing? You know what I mean? Cause I, I always want to try to make sure that my attitude's not getting in the way of what it is that I'm seeing or how that I'm looking at people, you know, but spirit's always like, no, you're not tripping. Like it's okay to believe yourself and to have that trust in the people that you see are exhibiting certain behaviors and not to like, trick yourself into feeling like you have to be too nice or whatever because people really do do a lot of things when it comes to projecting there are a lot of very sneaky forms of magic that people do right in your face that you never really peeped as magic before but i think you're starting to peep a lot of these different things and even getting to a place where you're not allowing it to upset you as much anymore and this is where spirit has been trying to get you to all along okay What's potent projections and DNA activation? We got the two of cloaks, okay? Or the two of wands. So like I said, you know, you've really made beautiful choices. And I think that's really the only thing that's really separating you and the people outside of you that you have to stand your ground against, you know? It's like you made choices that taught you how to stand your ground. You made choices that made sure you would progress in the future. And they made choices that only ended up in this energy of burden, okay? The queen of starships or the queen of cups could be significant. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? And then we got the page of cloaks, okay? 
So it's giving me like this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio working with this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, they could this this Aries, Leo. I said Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, I mean that though. This Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be younger than this Queen of Cups. This could be like a mother or auntie or grandmother figure or something like that that like has the ability to control all the other flying monkeys in the family. You know. So I guess it's family energy. What's a DNA activation and honor individuality? We got the seven of starships, okay, or the seven of cups. I feel like, you know, they try to paint this illusion of who you were for you for a very long time. And this is like one of the biggest things that you have broke through. The way that you see yourself, the way you're upholding your power, even if you have times of doubt or times where you question your journey or times if you wonder if you're doing it right or times where you're like, God, what should I do? Should I change what I'm doing? Should I keep doing what I'm doing? And God is just like, keep going, baby. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. You have those times, but you still know your value and you know your worth because your divine guides came in and walked you through that because that's what you earned, okay? So just know that there are a lot of people that are making negative choices because they're not getting walked through this life the way that you are because they continue to, like, you know, God is amazing because he always comes back to us and comes back to us and comes back to us with this offer of, okay, you can do this, which is the right thing, or you can pick the wrong thing, you know, and he gives you that free will and that choice to make, to, to pick. And I think this person just keeps picking the wrong thing over and over and over again from a conscious place or these people, I should say. And this is something that you just really aren't doing. And now on top of that, you're seeing very clearly through any illusions or anything that anyone's trying to, to set up for you or trying to present to you. So you're a very frustrating thing to people. OK, baby, because you can't be tricked. You know, you can't be tricked super easy. They got to go through way too much to get you at this point. And they're really I heard shitting bricks because they don't know what to do. As far as how they're going to stop you. What's honor and individuality and celebrate change? You could be a tarot reader, okay? Because tarot reader is at the bottom of this next deck, okay? You could be a reader like me, my love. If you are a reader, even if you're not a reader, angels protect you very heavily, okay? You also could be someone who's meant to find a divine counterpart this lifetime. The four of pentacles and the sun, okay? That's what came out. So... Um, with this four of pentacles energy is going in between honor individuality and celebrate change. You know, I think you had to release a lot of different energies that weren't serving you in order for you to even begin to see your worth. Like this queen of starships, this queen of cups energy was putting so much on you. You know, this is someone who is, I, we have might as well, you know, hold her up like this in reverse because that's what she is. Okay. That's the energy. She's in reverse. She's not, she cloaks very well as an upright queen of cups, but that's not what she is. She's very nasty, very conniving, very emotionally manipulative and willing to use whatever it is that you tell them or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Any energy, any information that's given to that person is handled in a negative and nasty way. So it's a good thing that you've released that. And don't feel the need to like go back for some of y'all, you know, for some of you divine masculines, this could even be an ex lover or this could be your mother. OK, that the door slammed next door. So it is really confirmation on that mother energy, though. So in between celebrate change and honor animal souls, we got the sun. So not only are people being very exposed at this time, but I feel like. You know, you're not trying to, like I said before, put any extra judgment or any extra shame on these people. You're just letting the divine do what it is that they're doing. It's like this energy of people thinking that you're doing something to them. So in a way, they're boosting up your power by believing you're so powerful. OK, the train went off when I said that. Like they think, oh, my gosh, they're so powerful. We cannot attack them. We, it don't matter what we do. We can't take them down. And this is becoming true in their reality. OK. Look, they underestimate you. They don't understand the way that your beautiful power works, the way that the divine protects you. Why the divine protects you the way that they do? Why are you always able to bounce back and have a rebirth? 
but it's because you put in the work and you don't like try to, you know, project your way of being or what it is that you believe onto other people. You just do your thing <laughs> and you just show love as much as you can. What's the two of cloaks and the seven of starships? We got goddess energy, okay? Like I said, in the beginning, I said you could give divine feminine energy, whether you're a masculine or a feminine, and you could be attracting someone who's giving emperor energy. But I think that you're just very balanced and you know exactly which energies to give when you need to give it. You're a generational curse breaker and you've been awake to what's going on around you. OK, and I think that other people are starting to wake up, too. I'm here. Wake up, nigga. Wake up. It's time to get this paper. OK. I've been out in my mind a long time. I've been out in my mind a long time. That's Kanye West. He said, with all that gossip, all that gossip from no pussy getting bloggers, okay? So you can have people, you know, that are like, they, they be talking about you. They be gossiping about you like they got paid to make some sort of blog or to update people about you, okay? What's uh the seven of starships and the four of pentacles? We got Atlantis, okay? So it's giving me this energy of like these souls that you're surrounded by are souls that you have come up against lifetime after lifetime. This energy of them following you around. But this lifetime is totally different, okay? They cannot hang with you whatsoever in this lifetime. And you've made all the right choices. Some of you guys could have had like darker past lives, okay? And you were doing things like your intentions weren't all the way pure, so they were able to get you. But this lifetime, they can't get you, baby. You are on the up and up, okay? I'm hearing like very strong. <laughs> That's what uh, Nike is saying, you know, very strong, looking very victorious, okay? Look at success at the bottom of the deck, okay? And um, we got remain calm at this time because this is going to be very important that you remain extremely calm and do any shadow work that it is that you need to do so that you can stay in this beautiful energy that you're in. Because you're looking, you're looking stable. You're looking set for life. What's the four of latinum and the sun? We got you were born to be a legend, okay? And this is something that people absolutely know about you, baby. So keep making these legendary moves, you know? Keep making this legendary effort toward your victory. Because it really is looking great on you. You don't have to worry about anything. I feel like, you know, with this breast of a new, <laughs> the breast of the goddess of a new, you know, this energy of that beautiful divine feminine energy that you are tapped into constantly feeding you and nourishing you and making sure that you have everything that you need in order to succeed in this lifetime. Yeah, but, but your boundaries are so very important to this, okay? It says boundaries are sewn into the parts of who you are, for they are not to be crossed, okay? So no one's able to cross your boundaries the way that they used to be able to. So just, you know, do your, I'm hearing, I heard every time she popped out, she doing her big one, okay? So keep popping out and doing your big one, you know? Keep tapping into this beautiful earth energy and be aware of like what you eat. You know what I mean? Who you hang around with, who you're giving your energy to. Somebody could be trying to do some sort of love spell on you. Or you could have ran into someone and they feel like you put a love spell on them because like somebody's in love with you. Okay. I heard like I love them so much. Okay. Somebody loves the shit out of you. I think they see this big. It's like this is how you look to them. They feel like, you know, even if you're small or whatever, you're so powerful, you're so beautiful, you're so loving to them. What's goddess energy in Atlantis? We got sacred waters, which came out in the same spot in the Archangel Uriel reading, okay? Um, it says, drunken by the swell of the sea, I can feel the blanket of her embrace, unafraid of the presence, releasing the cords. I call her in. I call her deeply within, you know, and that's confirmation because that's what I was saying about this feminine energy constantly replenishing you. 
and helping you to cut cords. It's like you're able to call in this energy in the worst of times. And this is something maybe you weren't very good at doing before. We got the flower crown at the bottom of the deck and we got the lovers under that, okay? I, I know what I'm talking about. Look, you manifesting this love connection or you have manifested the perfect love connection. And um, the people outside of you who have become a product of what they believe they're kind of having a problem, you know, having a problem seeing you crowned with this cow energy, having a problem seeing you abundant. They don't want to see you in love and manifesting whatever it is that you are trying to manifest. It's like, it's like at the end of the day, these people worship themselves, you know, like they are all they see, very egotistical, very like consumed with themselves. And I think that they think they're doing the same thing that you do, but what you do is self-love, okay? You don't worship yourself. You worship the divine. You worship God, but you love yourself and you know that you are the most powerful gateway to the divine and to God. So you treat yourself very well, you know? But I think that there are some people around you who got like self-love, and this egotistical, you know, holding yourself up as God type of energy kind of confused, okay? What's Atlantis and you were born to be a legend? We got the fire festival, okay? This card always gives me big cult energy, okay? <laughs> but it's not about that. But I mean, you could definitely be dealing with some sort of cult, you know? They do a lot of uh, fire magic, okay? They do things at dawn, okay? Like early in the morning, somebody wake up every morning and do magic on you, trying to affect your crown, trying to affect your heart, your solar plexus and your sacral chakras, okay? Trying to put out your fire. But you just started a fire festival on these bitches. <laughs> and they don't have they don't have what it takes to, you know, like douse every part of your fire. They just could never. Yeah, we got honey right here. I think that you really meet them with this beautiful, sweet energy, you know? It says the sweetness of you swells in the grace of your pool, oh so beautifully lethal. Also, I think, okay, look, with this oracle energy, didn't I say you, you're some type of oracle, some type of powerful psychic or something. You can have like really, really long hair, but you don't have to. But it says spirits of the other worlds, tell me tales of the unknown, tell me tales of the forbidden. So it's like, because you're so sweet, you're so beautiful, you're so loving, you're so amazing. The divine tells you whatever it is that you want to know. There is no tales of the forbidden. Everything that you need to know or, or <laughs> want to know, your guides come in and tell you the answers to those things immediately. And these people are getting um, readings and things, trying to find out your energy, trying to find out your information, trying to find out if they spell work is working and all of these different things. And it just really, truly isn't. Let me see. It says a strong blaze is needed at this time to burn away the doubts, fears and worries you have held within your mind. OK, so that's what's going on with this fire festival energy, this energy of you going crazy with the sun energy and just burning away what you no longer needed, what was no longer serving you. And that's what really saved your ass at the end of the day. The way that you, I'm hearing, come on, baby, light my fire. Okay, the way that you allow the divine to come in and light your fire and guide your every step. There's no going against that and there's no stopping it either, okay? So Nike is saying, just continue to go forward, continue to push through, okay? And just burn away anything that you do not need. Any negativity, any lower vibrational energies, okay? Because the angels of divine law are at work, okay? You can have my yacht in your energy. What's the final thought on this? We got Dari, the diva of the rainforest, okay? You can really love the forest, but I love how this is more water energy too. Like I said, you're very, very emotionally immature, okay? Very tapped into these earth energies. We got the angel of trees right here at the bottom of the deck, you know? This card talks all about you being this amazing elder, even though you walk this earth, you know? 
beautiful ascendant master energy that you hold and carry. And um, Nike is asking you to be this beautiful angel of serenity, you know, and to continue to embrace death and new beginnings the way that you've been doing. Because this is why you're like indestructible. You know what I'm saying? Spiritually, no one could ever touch you, baby. Not no more. And that's another thing, you know, I think people are really having a hard time because they know that before they were able to really affect you in a very strong way. They really had a lot of pull on you. They really presented a lot of illusions to you. And you're seeing things so clearly like it's gorgeous. So it says, if you drew this card, Dari, the nurturing diva of the rainforest has appeared to remind you that you are both the gardener and the garden of your life. A garden is resplendent with symbolism and meaning since ancient times. In the Western spiritual tradition, a garden is an archetypal symbol of the soul, innocence, and the divine feminine principle. Come on. It says, Dari shows that just as for a garden to flourish, you need, your life needs, okay, so it says Dari shows that just as for a garden to flourish, your life needs constant nurturing for the self to grow and thrive. Dari also draws your awareness to the wisdom that for a garden to thrive and prosper, it needs to be in balance with the natural and divine laws of the earth. Just like a gardener tending her garden, there are no shortcuts to personal spiritual growth. Patience, kindness, and dedication are the qualities you need to tend your soul's purpose and higher aspirations. Gardens are a way to understand and appreciate nature and humanity's place in the order of things and ultimately are an expression of self-nurturing and compassion, you know like giving me this energy she showed me like you know someone who's very loving and very beautiful you know someone who has a green thumb and who is very appreciative of the earth planting a beautiful garden and it it developing so well you know growing these big beautiful tomatoes and all of these different flowers and everything you know and that's the way that it is when you're trying to manifest in this life and you're in this type of energy growing beautiful and amazing fruits for yourself but when you have negative beliefs and you're on a lower vibration and you want to do things a more underhanded type of way, you never seeing anything flourish. The only time you're having anything is when you're taking it from others. And I think these are the kinds of energies that you could be dealing with, you know. So Nike is saying just keep your patience and don't stoop, okay. Just continue to tend your garden the way that you've been doing and you'll always continue to see those fruits and all of these beautiful things growing and developing around you, you know. Your your world will always be filled with the beautiful and amazing things that you, like the amazing fruits from the seeds that you're planting is what she's giving me, you know. And also there's birds and butterflies. So this energy of like the more seeds you plant, the more you grow, the more you nourish your garden, the easier it is for you to make transformations and also to communicate with the divine. OK, so with that, I'm done, my love. I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day that you got something that you needed out of this. And I will see you later. Bye.